what it would be like if you were granted three wishes? Why, it would be like winning the lottery. What could I do? What could I wish for? There was a woodcutter that lived in a village a long, long, long time ago. It was during a time of great financial hardship. All the woodcutters in the area had upgraded and had much stronger, more powerful, sharper axes than the old woodcutter. And he could not find enough work to be able to put food on the table. And, oh, he was hungry. His wife also worked hard trying to earn money, but there was just very little to do. And food was their main priority. The woodcutter decided that to really be able to find the wood he needed to sell so he could put food on the table was he was going to have to travel very, very far into the dark woods where the most beautiful mahogany trees grew. And he knew that if he could just get a load of that mahogany, that he could take it to the sculptures and the carvers and they would have food on the table. It was a long journey to the black forest, the dark forest. They, he had to travel out to the outskirts of the village, into the meadows, into the simple forest that surrounded his village, and go even further than that into the forest that, where the mahogany was. He reached there with very little events happening, and there he wore, looked and he searched, and then he found the tree he wanted. He raised his axe and was just going to hew that stump, that, that tree into a stump, when suddenly he heard a little voice, Wait, don't! He stopped. He looked around, thought, I must be so hungry, I'm just hearing voices now. He picked up his axe, axe again and went to go and, and heard the voice again. Please stop, this is my home. The woodcutter looked around and goes, well, I would never cut down your home. And there, peering through the green leaves, was a little wood elf. I have lived in this tree for centuries. This is the old heart of the forest. You cannot cut it down. The woodcutter, woodcutter even though he knew and wanted that wood, he would not cut down the tree. This is your lucky day, the elf said, because I have magic, and I offer you now three wishes of anything you would like. Th three wishes? That was just a miracle to the woodcutter. He put his axe over his shoulder and walked back through the, to the edges of the dark forest, through many meadows and came back into the village. And he could hardly wait to tell his wife the good fortune. Oh, the gold they were going to have, the house they would live in, the food on the table. His mouth just was watering at the thoughts. As he got into his home, his wife was not there. He was so disappointed. He so wanted to tell her, and he was so hungry, and he goes, I am so hungry, I wish I had a sausage. Plop! Right there on the table was the biggest sausage he'd ever seen in his whole life. Just at that moment, his wife walks in. What? What are you doing back so soon, and what is this sausage on the table? He then went on to explain the elf and the three wishes and all that happened. <coughs> and you have wasted one wish on a sausage? Oh, you are so silly and it's such a simpleton. I wish this sausage was on your nose so all could see how silly you are. Bloop! There on the woodcutter's nose was a sausage. <coughs> Not only a little sausage, but the biggest sausage ever. Man, have you gone and done it? I've got a sausage on my nose. Get it off, get it off. And no matter how much the wife pulled and put her foot up, could not come off. Well, really, it's not such a bad thing. And when we get the gold, we'll be able to buy beautiful.
beautiful bandanas and silk and put them on and no one will hardly notice. You've got to be kidding me. Finally, they argued and argued and no matter how much the wife said that he should keep it, they just fought and fought until finally she said, well, I wish that sausage was off your nose right now. Bloop. There it was on the table. They looked at each other and went, three wishes on a sausage? <laughs> First they glared at each other and then suddenly they went, aren't we so silly? All that glitters isn't gold, but look what we have for our feast. They pulled up their chairs, got out the stale bread they had, and cut into that sausage, and they had the best feast ever. Thank you.